Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. This is your weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ. Sprint, Nextel and Light Squared have signed a 15-year network expansion deal to help enhance its wireless network. Sprint, Nextel reported their earnings results earlier this week and the number three wireless carrier in the U.S. reported an increase in revenue, but the company still remained unprofitable with a wide net loss per share. The deal between Sprint and Light Squared will help develop a new wholesale LTE or long-term evolution wireless wireless broadband network. Light Squared will pay Sprint to build and operate a network uh, for $9 billion in cash and $4.5 billion in both cash and credits. This may be a win-win for both companies. Sprint will see a new revenue stream and can try to compete with the likes of Verizon Wireless and AT&T. Light Squared can also construct a national network with fewer expenses. At the same time, there are apparently some disadvantages to Light Squared's network. According to the FAA, the company's set satellite-based system could interfere with GPS systems. Therefore, in response to some of the concerns initially raised by federal agencies, Light Square made some adjustments to prevent its operations from interfer interfering with GPS systems. And moving on to other news, Nintendo announced that it will slash the price of its portable gaming console, the 3DS. The price will be reduced from $249.99 to $169.99. Now, this move may spur more consumers to buy the 3DS. The latest earnings results from Nintendo show that sales of the console were not as strong as expected, especially in comparison to sales of the Wii console. Another incentive for potential buyers of the 3DS, Nintendo plans to launch a slew of new games for the unit. Surely current owners of the 3DS may be disappointed that the uh, price of the gaming uh, device will be slashed by a significant amount. But at the same time, there is a bright side to the latest development. Nintendo will be giving away 20 free games on its uh, virtual console to current owners of the 3DS. Now they will automatically be enrolled into the Nintendo Ambassador Program. And last but not least, before we wrap it up, Google continues to ramp up its services after slashing uh, some of its projects in the latest week. Now, after the successful launch of its social networking site, Google+, it will be launching a new page speed service. The service will analyze websites and help optimize them, but it won't come with a cost. Google says that the service can improve page loading speeds by anywhere from 25 to 60%. Now, the page speed service takes content, rewrites pages utilizing web performance of best practices, and then end users will receive the content from Google servers. Users will have to give DNS entry information to Google, which in turn will take care of the optimization process. Google is currently offering the service to a limited number of webmasters free of cost. And that does wrap it up for your weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.